Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another edition of Book Review Thursdays where I review books that I have read if that isn't really obvious by the title of this video. Today I'm going to be reviewing an adult novel, no perverts. I don't mean a dirty novel, I mean a novel geared towards adults. And this one is Defending Jacob by William Landay. In case you're curious, it is a legal thriller. In other words, it's like one long episode of Law and Order. Now this is not a typical genre for me and I don't for some reason lately by adult novels but it had an autographed copy sticker and and it was a club pick from target and i just couldn't resist so i bought it um it took me some time to read it a couple of months there because of my horrible habit of reading two to three books at the same time but i was finally able to finish it before the semester was out and it was all right I know I typically rate towards the end, but I'll rate it now. Out of five stars, I would give Defending Jacob, oh, this is hard, three stars because I liked it, but I didn't really, really like it. I didn't love it, and it wasn't like awful or anything. It's just a genre that I don't typically, and I've said typically about 62 times now, haven't I? It's not a genre that I usually buy. So what is Defending Jacob about? It is about a, an assistant district attorney named Andy Barber, who at the beginning of the book gets called in because one of Jacob's classmates has been murdered in this creepy wooded area that everyone seems to use to get to school. And I don't understand why people let their kids walk through this wooded area because I'm pretty sure there's serial killers in there. And no, I haven't spoiled anything that has nothing to do with serial killers. It's This is a murder. Through a crazy wackadoodle series of events, a Jacob Andy's son ends up getting accused of the murder and of course he gets kicked off the case because well you know he can't he can't be you know impartial in this type of situation and so the story kind of follows him along as he struggles to prove Jacob's innocence while his marriage is also falling over because his wife Lori is just absolutely convinced that Jacob has done this and she blames herself because of things that happened to Jacob when he was a little boy and then we throw into the mix the fact that Andy's been harboring this deep dark secret from everyone including his wife and son which when the deep dark secret came out it wasn't in my opinion a big deal but Lori's like oh my god how can you not tell me this and she makes a huge deal and says well naturally Jacob came out like this because of you I mean there's just no there's just no other reason um, the story is told from two different perspectives. It's told from a present time perspective and a flashback perspective, and they're both from Andy's view. So in the present time, he's up for questioning in a trial. They don't really tell you why this trial is going on until you get to the end of the book. So he's answering questions about stuff that happened during when Jacob had been accused for the murder. And it follows all the way until Jacob's um, trial is over and whatever the result comes of that and then at the end they punch you in the face because something happens that you didn't expect to happen and then it just leaves you like really this this happened so I can't really get into things that I liked and disliked because I was kind of very just even toned about the book the pace was really slow in the beginning but once I was able to get really into it it picked up pretty quickly I found Andy to be a really irritating character because he just wanted to believe so fervently that his son was innocent when it was kind of like a grayish area and you really don't know if he is or isn't. And then Lori was a super irritating character because she was just 100% convinced that her son was guilty without even giving him a chance. And then Jacob was really irritating because he was just a blah character. But I think that he this was the whole idea. They were all just extremes. One believes he's innocent, one believes he's guilty, and the other one is a typical teenager that doesn't care about anything even though he might potentially go to jail for the rest of his life. So the novel, like I said, is like one long episode of Law and Order. So if you're into that genre of TV shows, then you'll definitely like Defending Jacob. Um, I think even for a teen, it wouldn't be that hard to follow if you're into the more serious toned books. But don't expect much character growth. There isn't any romance. It's just all serious as dramaticness and depressionness and sadness. All until it culminates at the end, which I said will punch you in the face because you didn't see it coming. So that's really my review on Defending Jacob. I figured I would go ahead and talk about it anyways because I did read it. I'm not going to just discard it now that I've read it. But um, I wanted to also announce to you guys that I'm going to start using my blogger again. I have it linked on my channel even though I haven't used it for almost a year. But I'm going to start adding my reviews onto my blogger and I'm going to get a little more in depth in the review on the blog. So if you are interested in some more spoileriness, then check out the blog. And I'm going to... 
I don't know what this um thing. I meant to say um. If you guys are interested in seeing the Defending Jacob one, it's going to be up in the next couple days because I want to go ahead and, and do the other three books that I've already done for book review Thursday. I'm sorry that I didn't post anything on Tuesday. I wasn't feeling very good. But in the next video that I post, um, if you guys are interested, I'm going to be talking about how to acquire autographed books if that's something that you're into and I'm also going to talk about how to collect autographs in general so you guys if you like this video please give me a thumbs up leave me some comments below consider subscribing to my channel and I will see you in the next video bye